Howdy, howdy, hello, hello. So, a lot of you were talking about vegan food yesterday. I asked you, what other topics would you like me to cover? And there's so many people talking about your diet, vegan food, and um, how did you become vegan, and this and that, and whatever. So many different things. So I thought I'd just talk about vegan food. Okay, not, not yet how I became it. We'll talk about a bit about that later, but let's see what I have here first, okay? An avocado. That's it. That's the only thing I'm eating today with a spoon. Not even chopsticks. What the heck is wrong with me? Hmm. I'm joking. This is my curry dish that I just made. It has, has the rice with uh, there's like lime juice on top and there's like the pulp of the lime that I squeezed. And then it's like, I think it's Bombay potato curry that I used from like a, from a packet, but then I also added a whole green bell pepper, carrots, onion, some green beans. Let's see, what else? Cilantro, and then to top it with jalapenos, of course, and a bunch of other spices. I always add, oh, I forgot to add the cinnamon. Oh crap, okay, so normally I add cardamom, ginger, uh, turmeric, chili powder, cumin, fennel, and then I also add, add some cinnamon as well, but I forgot the cinnamon. Darn, darn, I think there's like a few other spices that I add, but that's like the main ones. I stir it all up, really good. This is all vegan. Now when it comes to like Indian food, let's just talk a bit about a lot of the food that I eat. So I, I eat a lot of, I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen it, see, I eat a lot of Asian food, I guess, and Indian, you can consider Asian, I guess, pretty much. So, for the most part, I like Japanese food and I like various Thai food and just a variety of different things. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of Chinese food. I don't like that really. Very, very rarely make that, if really much at all. Oh, actually, I've got, I've got the milk dough. Don't really make make that. It's not really my thing. I mean, there are. Some, plenty of really really good dishes that are that are Chinese di uh, dishes but for the most part I like probably Japanese food more and then Indian food I really love I make that all the time as well okay so when it comes to like going to restaurants and and foods and of that nature you know it it can be kind of tricky depending on where you're going like I mentioned uh, Chinese food that's probably one of the hardest because when you're going if, if, if you go to a Chinese restaurant Chinese place they they use a lot of like if you have some sort of soup or something or something that may you know be be cooked a certain way it could have beef broth or chicken broth or something along those lines that's not vegetable broth um, and this also applies to some Japanese food as well they use a lot of uh, soy I'm sorry fish sauce so it can be kind of tricky like I know one of my favorite places that I eat a lot of Japanese food they have a vegetable udon you would think it would use vegetable broth but it actually uses chicken broth I think and if they have fish sauce in it I think so I, when I get that I have to ask you know for it not to have that I love the places and the restaurants that have a menu and it lists you know the the icons if it's vegan or vegetarian or if it can can be made as such now a lot of Indian foods that's also can be quite tricky because there are plenty of Indian Indian places that I've been to that have a lot of options for me, and um, it does, it's usually never indicated on on the menu. Like Indian food, for the most part, it's very vegetarian friendly. You can find tons of vegetarian stuff. Like even if, if you look on the menu, it says non-veg and then veg, and then you can just look if you're vegetarian. It's very very easy. If you're vegan, however. I always have to ask, you know, which of these curries, for example, does not have any dairy product in it? You know, which one doesn't have any milk? Because they use a lot of milk. So milk is very fattening as well. So I don't, I don't, I don't consume that. So yeah, I have to be careful. Sometimes the choices are very limited. Like um, there's a whole menu, me menu of different things such as this, you know, all these different items. I asked and there's only like one thing that I could have. Which was actually very, very good, so I'm not complaining about that. But when I make my own, I can do it any sort of way and actually make it vegan as well. Because I, it's just in a packet, so I just got to get a packet that doesn't have that, and then I can just add whatever I want to it. It's 
speaking of which, let's, let's take a bite of it. It's kind of chunky. Hmm. I usually like the, uh, the uh, Indian dishes more runny. Not super runny, like this one's very chunky. Oh, so yeah, just have to ask. I don't think there's anything wrong with asking, but you can you can ask. Um, hmm. I forget what I was going to say too, but. So I don't know, I don't know why I guess I, I guess so many people were curious about it because I am very healthy and because I have this diet but this isn't what necessarily makes me the healthiest it's eating organic foods like most of what I showed you here is pretty much all organic pretty much the rice is the avocado is the jalapeno is not um, green beans are carrots are the curry sauce with the the potatoes in it that's not most of the spices are. So for the most part, the bell pepper is. Most most of the stuff is organic, and that's usually what I buy, and that's what's more healthy than just being vegan, okay? Because you can be, you can eat a plenty of vegan food, and it's just, it's just junk food, okay? There's many conventional foods that are junk food that you can eat, like a whole, whole bunch of candies, junk food, very unhealthy, but they can be vegan. So it's not, it's not about that. It's about what you're eating, and if it's organic or not, if you don't want to be eating, you know, the, the wheat that has non-organic non wheat with loaded with glyphosate. That's vegan, yeah, but you're going to get risk your getting cancer. Uh, so, that's pretty much my, my story here. You know, when I go out to eat a restaurant, it's not or, all organic. It really isn't. Uh, hmm. What else? I think there was something else I was going to say too, but I'm sure it would come to me after I stop recording. But yeah, it was a slow process to get to this point. I'll talk about the process another time. I'm going to go back to this food. I'm going to eat it up. So hopefully this helped, you know, clear out some stuff here. I don't think it's really hard to eat vegan. Oh, that was the other thing. Okay. I don't think it's really hard to eat vegan food. Just it was a slow process for me many, many years which I'll talk about, but I know there's plenty of people who don't care for this diet, who think it's, you're not getting the right nutrients in your body and this and that. And, you know, I understand their opinions. That's what it is. It is an opinion, but it is also backed by scientific evidence on their end as well. Because when it comes to science, when it comes to food and diet, it's all over the place. Some people say if you eat this type of diet, it's healthier for you than if you eat this one. But then there's people who eat this diet and are way healthier than the people who eat the other one. It's all over the place. So you have to eat what your body is craving, what your body really wants. Okay, you have to listen to your body. Give it the right nutrients. You know, I've never noticed any sort of issues with eating this type of diet, despite, you know, what some of the, the naysayers say who have commented who make up these lies okay these flat out lies you know these 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 pokemon named <laughs> you know you know what what the name of you you pokemon are who make up these lies on my video saying that i'm anemic and not absorbing this and that despite blood tests showing that i am not at all so they're they're pulling things right out of that actually they're pulling it right out of there it's a fr you know, they're pulling the pulling the fresh turd right out you know making up a lie but that's not to say that everything that they're saying is false because there is some truth to what they're saying so you have to be careful you have to make sure you're getting the right vitamins vitamin d vitamin b12 but a lot of people do not just vegans most people do you should be taking a supplement you have to be eating healthy some people may not be able to absorb certain things so avoid things that cause you allergies it's that simple and i think that's what people you know try to exploit about the vegan diet you know I really think uh, you know so, some of the people who especially the, the one person who was commented you know 
saying these 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 lies that are very clearly lies as, as you can see they do that because i think there's a sense of jealousy there because they are perhaps tried a vegan diet and it did not work for them maybe they're trying to lose weight or something maybe they're trying to be healthier maybe they have some sort of cancer i don't know what it is okay whatever it is i hope you can work through it i don't i don't know but maybe they thought the vegan diet is going to help me and then they they switched to it and then they ended up in worse health and worse conditions mental and physical i don't know but whatever the case is that that was your your body that's not my body and that's not everyone else's body that can be a lot of people's bodies if you're not eating correctly what i eat you know, I don't necessarily eat the healthiest, but guess what? I am healthy. That, that shows. I don't have any sort of major physical or, 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 or mental issues any, anymore. Because food is your health. I need to get back to that. So let me know your thoughts on that. And some of the people who, you know, are going to be, be critical of others' ment uh, health, even though they're probably unhealthy themselves. You know? So... You all take care. I'll catch you later for probably how I became a vegan. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. But you all take care. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.